Good morning, good morning, good morning from good old Lake Winnipeg. My name is Josh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are in search of a big mama, as usual, a 28 inch walleye on Lake Winnipeg. It is the middle of March. We had some pretty dang warm weather about a week ago and melted basically all the snow into the southern province of the uh, southern part of Manitoba. So the whole, here I'll show you, all the ice, there's no uh, no snow on there. We should be careful for some ridges, but it's pretty easy, pretty easy access. There's still three feet of ice. It's about 6.30 right now. We're gonna start off with a shallow bite and around six feet of water. It's been doing pretty good, uh, pretty consistent reports across the province. And then around 9, 30, 10, depending how the bite is, we're gonna head into like 13-ish feet of water and try to get it done there, if not in the shallows. But I got a little bit of an interesting twist on today's episode. I'm gonna try to catch these fish a little bit of a different way, maybe a type of uh, summer way. I'll show you a little bit more when we actually get to the spot. But if you're new here, click the subscribe button, enjoy the video, and uh, let's get going. First things first, check out the sunrise. Holy smokes! If that ain't beauty, I don't know what is, folks. Alrighty, we are here getting set up. Now, what I'm gonna be trying to do today is catch a fish on a fly rod through the ice. I got the slender spoon on there. That has been my go-to this year for a walleye lure. I'm gonna have a rattle bit on my other rod, my other hole, but hopefully we can get a, it'd be awesome to get a big mama on the actual fly rod. If we can just get one in general, that'd be awesome, but gotta get at least one fish on the fly rod because I've been trying a couple times this year, no success, but today is beautiful. There's no wind right now. It is gorgeous, beautiful sunrise back behind me. Got Rick and Al, they're just gonna drill a couple holes and uh, we're gonna get fishing. Great. Minnows. Flasher. Other flasher. Tip it off with a piece of minnow. I might snag one for my other one. Uh, I'm sure I'll try be first, but if I don't, I will grab one. Thank you. I've got how freaking long this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Use this. Uh, rattle bait. There you oh. go. Just a little guy. Eater. Nice eater. Woohoo! First Let's one. Wrong with that. Nope. Keep a couple for the freezer. There you go, guys. First one of the day. Really? Oh, come on. Oh. No? No way. Okay, well, I marked it on here. Oh, it's still there. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Come on. On. Oh. Oh, it's not a bad one either. It's a little guy. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Nice. Let's go. Little fat stubby one on the slender spoon. I did not hook him uh, best way. Rod, right here, folks. Woo! Fish on a fly rod while ice fishing. That is awesome. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Another one on the fly rod. Oh my gosh. Come here, big guy. All 
Hey, Rick. Slender spoon. Fun, fun. Way too small. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh, that one smoked me. That one shot right up. The feel looks decent. Looks better. Oh, not huge, but hey, nice. There we go. Choke that slender spoon again. Thank you, my friend. Yeah. Oh, for sure. That one just shot right up. Look at that, guys. It's like a 17, 18 inch fish. Destroyed it. I like to see it. All right, I'm just trying to change some batteries. And Rook hooks into the biggest one of the day so far for sure. Pull her out. Very nice. There you go. Let me grab a measuring board quick, okay? Right. Oh. Probably 20. 26. 26 inches, beautiful. Let's take a quick pick and then we'll uh, send it back. All right, go back to live another day and grow to be a 30. There you go. Awesome fish, out of the blue. Always happens when I'm trying to change stuff on the freaking cameras. My, my luck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't even see that one. There you go. Didn't even see that one. Nice. In and out, just like that. Another fish on the fly rod, folks. Another eater. Got a full belly. Nice. And if you guys didn't know, slender spoon. That's what we've been using. Tipped off the piece of minnow. And that's it. It's about to 9.15 now. We're just uh, talking about how we're kind of in dead water. Haven't really been marking much for the past half an hour or so. So I think we're gonna head out a little bit deeper to about 13 or so and try it out there. So far, beautiful day. Not too, too windy. And um, we got some fish in the ice. So hope you like the video. And uh, we're gonna get going and drill some more holes and catch more fish. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice fish too, eh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I waited all that time for that. Oh, no way. All right, we had a pretty okay morning bite. We got some fish in the ice. It's uh, 10 o'clock. We're gonna roll out to about a 13 foot spot that Rick was here last weekend, did pretty well. Uh, and drill some holes and hopefully get a big one. Mission accomplished either way. Got some fish on the fly rod, but hoping to get a master on the fly rod because that would just be super, super cool. I don't know if anyone's ever done that before. Um, but yeah, we'll see when he gets to the new spot. Drill a few more holes, park a few more fish, and hopefully get on a big one. So spot two sucked. We were only there half an hour. Didn't mark a single fish. Spot three now. We're in 14 and a half feet of water, two and a half feet deeper. You can give it a try. Stay tuned. Hope you like it. Gotta get a big fish. Let's go. Feet of water, fly rod. Um, I should no, he's there. Woo! <laughs> yes, yes, yippers, get out of there, bud. Boom, another one bites dust. Nice, that took a while to caress that guy. Hey, okay, we'll take it. Nice fly rod, six weight, 12 pound test. Let's go. Oh man. Yeah, I, think it's I was playing my transducer and I don't think it's a big one. I think it's just rubbing on stuff.
Oh no. Oh, no. Big fish, guys. Big fish. Uh, okay. I was playing with my transducer, and my rod goes boom, and I go boom, and now we got a big one. Okay, I'll give you that. First things first, before I get this out, on rattle beat, just like that. Wish I would've caught in the fly rod, but. Okay. He won't turn in that hole, he's too big. Okay. Here we go, guys. Awesome freaking fish. Quick measurement. 25 and a half, not even 26, but fat, girthy, like Winnipeg walleye. We're gonna take a quick picture and then we're gonna get it right back. Hey guys, we're gonna go back and release this mama. Beautiful fish. I didn't even mark it. Like I said, I was playing around with my transducer and all of a sudden it went boom. I set the hook and uh, March Madness here on Lake Winnipeg. Gonna live to grow a 30, like we said before, but beautiful colors. Completely fills up that hole. Thanks bud. And off she goes. Let's go, awesome. Doesn't look small. There we go. No? Yeah, oh, I got him. Nice eater. Awesome. Perfect. Way to go. He, so he was there, he bit you, lost yeah. your minnow, went back to the truck, got a minnow, and he was still there. And still hungry. Nice. Cool. Perfect. Good fish, dude. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this episode of Mantle with Fishing Adventures. It was a great day. We accomplished our mission. We got a fish on the fly rod through the ice. I actually got five, lost one. I got a big one on a rattle bait too, which uh, just ended off the great. Awesome. This is probably gonna be my last day fishing Lake Winnipeg this year. Rick and Alan both got some nice fish too. It was just an overall great day. It's plus six right now. I mean, you can't beat it. Sunburn, sunburn in March. I love it. I love it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you're new here, make us in, click that subscribe button, smash the like button, and we'll catch you on the next episode of Magical Fishing Adventures.